This is Education Talk, a podcast series that shares real-life stories and insights about the condition of education during the hype of the pandemic. Hi, I am Adrian Jade Makaspak of Education Talk and today we are going to talk about the effect of COVID-19 pandemic in the Philippine education. The transition of education from face-to-face to blended learning has been a big adjustment both for students and for teachers. Some parents and students have requested to freeze or stop the classes because most of the families do not have the privilege to have an access to internet, gadgets such as smartphones and laptops, and most of the parents are not literate enough to teach their children. Me personally, I have encountered difficulties in online classes such as being in the middle of the class and then power goes out or the internet connection glitches. It is not as easy as sitting in front of my laptop's monitor then listen and comprehend. I am having trouble understanding the lessons because the environment in our house isn't conducive. There's a lot of noise coming from the people inside and the vehicle outside. It also has an impact on my health because I've spent the last two years sitting all day without exercising or even walking. Besides that, taking online classes has caused me to have poor vision. In addition, many have stated that many children did not actually learn during the pandemic because it is so simple for them to simply copy the answer from the back of their modules. Clearly, there are numerous challenges that students face during the pandemic all of which affect their learnings, behavior, and characteristics. According to Catherine Norton 2020, technology is not always efficient and can cause major disruptions to classes. Online learning requires students to have high speed of internet at their home, which can cause complications if it is not available. A student's Wi-Fi could shut down unexpectedly and not allow them to turn in their assignment on time. Or it might not allow them to attend classes and miss instructions. This causes major negative impacts to the student's education and grades. On the other hand, I know that if we students have struggled, so have our teachers. Particularly the older teachers who are not technologically literate. Some teachers prefer to use traditional method of teaching, which is the chalk and board. They are not familiar with Google Meeting, Google Classroom, or other technology-based teaching tools. But regardless of the negative consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic, this leads us to the new way of learning in which we recognize that one can learn even at home. We cannot deny that it provides us the most efficient method of learning during the pandemic. Google can be used to ask questions and get clarifications. YouTube can be used to instruct. And there are other websites that can make teaching and learning more efficient. I just want to highlight that during the urge of the COVID-19, the special program for the employment of students headed by Mayor Angela Garcia did not stop to give financial assistance or scholarship to the students. This program really helped the students during the pandemic to finance their internet and other materials to use in learning. But what does the pandemic convey to us? What message that does the pandemic is trying to, ex- to express when it comes to our education? In my own opinion, despite of the negative impact of the pandemic, it tells us to become more innovative and adaptive. Like in the other country, they integrate more of the technology in the classroom and they practice progressivist approach. It tells us that our educational system needs to be reformed so that it can, be, it can meet global standards. In addition, it tells us that we must more perseverance and determine that no matter what happens, we will stand for our dreams in what, uh, whatever ways are possible. As Brian Herbert says, the capacity to learn is a gift. The ability to learn is a skill. 
and the willingness to learn is a choice. Thank you so much for listening. That's all for our podcast episode and see you in my next video.